One of the most extraordinary accomplishments of American aerospace engineering, the Boeing 747, celebrated 50 glorious years of passenger service at the beginning of this year in January. Still, unfortunately, its final fate was determined a few months later in July. As a result, Boeing has declared that the generation of the legendary 747 will come to a stop. Although its first flight was flown in 1969 and entered service a year later in January of 1970 with Pan American World Airways. So as the iconic era comes to an end, let's take an in-depth look at why the airline will not be used anymore, so go somewhere and watch this video at the end. Here we begin. The 747 was the first passenger plane with a quadjet engine and two levels. As a result, it's been dubbed the Jumbo Jet, Queen in the Skies, and even the Humpback, and it is arguably the most recognizable aircraft ever built. The aircraft was designed by Boeing in the mid-1960s as the next step up from the similarly four-engined and widely popular Boeing 707 passenger jet. With the increased demand for air travel, the Boeing 747 would provide airlines with increased seating capacity, range, and space for luxuries such as onboard lounges and bars. One of the most recognizable planes in commercial aviation history is the Boeing 747. For the past 50 years, it has been a welcome presence in the sky. Yet despite its legacy, carriers across the United States have fully retired it. When he reached 10 million miles, the United 747 was named the Boeing 747. Structure of the Boeing 747 Specs The design and construction of the Boeing 747 was a bold step forward in aviation. The demand for fewer aircraft with higher carrying capacity was supposed to alleviate congestion at airports, struggling with the influx of a growing traveling public. A plane with twice the carrying capacity of the existing workhorses, the Boeing 707 and Douglas DC-8 was needed. As a result, the Jumbo was born. Let's look at the Boeing 747 specs to better understand this queen of the skies. Surprisingly, it wasn't the extra carrying capacity that drew early customers, but rather the longer range compared to other aircraft at the time. The introduction of high-bypass turbofan engines, which were able to deliver much higher thrust at a much lower fuel burn rate than pure jets in use at the time, enabled the possibility of designing such a large aircraft. The Boeing 747, with four engines, was designed to be the safest airliner ever built. Redundancy was implemented for systems such as hydraulics with a backup system available in the event that the main system failed. There were dual control surfaces to ensure that the aircraft could be controlled even if one of the surfaces failed. Each of the four main landing gear bogies had four wheels. This was done to distribute the aircraft's weight more evenly, and so that the 747 could land on two opposing bogies if necessary. The main reasons which why it will not be produced anymore are, it's a different world. Finally, it's not surprising that US carriers retired the jet for financial reasons. Unfortunately, it has also become one of the most significant aviation casualties of the current global health crisis. As a result, the cost-cutting exercise pattern is clear. Hard to maintain. Oscar Munoz, former CEO of United and current executive chairman, explained why his company decided to retire the plane. According to Business Insider, he explained that it had become difficult to maintain. Finally, the age of the type has reduced its overall efficiency. Expensive. Overall, just as other carriers around the world are rapidly retiring aircraft, US carriers were considering more efficient alternatives. The 747, like the Airbus A380, has four engines. Like its wide-body counterpart, it has become a more expensive operation compared to modern two-engine options on the market. Regarding long-haul services, models like the 777, 787, a 330, and a 350 are more efficient. Furthermore, the market has advanced where narrow bodies can perform well over medium to long distances. As a result, US airlines no longer need to rely on such behemoths for trips across the Americas or the Atlantic. The arrival of the 747 to 8 last decade could have given the original Jumbo a new lease on life in the United States. However, passenger carriers in the country only accepted units because they preferred more efficient alternatives. Dreamliner 787 to 9 United Airlines planes can squawk 7700 in an emergency requiring pilots to take extra precautions or assistance. Photographer Getty Images, in practice, the 777-300ER has roughly the same passenger capacity as the 747-400. It does, however, use 100,000 pounds less fuel. This significant difference undoubtedly saves operators thousands of dollars per flight. This is all for today, but we'll be back soon with more interesting videos, so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. And if you liked today's video, then press the like and share button. See you soon.